loads carried in all the members of the truss. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a free body diagram that has all of the external loads on it. So I've got the 12 and the 18. At a roller at E, I just have the vertical load. At the pin at F, I have the 2. Because there are only three external loads here, and I'll have three equations of motion, I can go ahead and solve for them. Fx comes from the sum of the forces in the x direction. Some of the forces in the y direction just tells me that ey and fy have to add up to be equal to zero. But if I take the sum of the moments at f, I can get 12 acting at a 10 foot, 18 acting at 5, has to be equal to ey at 12. So now I can solve for all of my external reactions. ey is 17.5 kips and Fy is minus 17.5 kips. I'm going to solve this using the method of joints, and I'm going to start at joint B, because at joint B I have easy equations of equilibrium and no more than two unknowns. So if I draw that free body diagram, I can say that AB has to be equal to minus 12 kips, which is good, that's one of the ones I wanted to know, and BD has to be equal to zero, because there's no other sum of the forces in Y. So I've got two of my loads already. Now I want to move on to the joint at E, because again, my equations of equilibrium are easy, and I have no more than two unknowns. EY goes up at 17.5 kips, so CE is negative 17.5, and EF is equal to zero. So now we've identified what our zero force members are, and there won't actually be any others. Now we have to actually go on and, and do some figurings with these angles. All of my other joints involve a diagonal. If I call this angle theta so that I have my 12 feet and my 5 feet, this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. So I can say that, for example, cosine of theta is always going to be 12 over 13. Sine of theta is 5 over 13. Now if I move on to joint F, I have DF going up, 17.5 kips coming down, which is minus Fy, 30 kips coming over, Here's my CF. This is EF, but EF has to be equal to zero. I can also do the joint at C and the joint at A. AC, AB, and AD. Those are the only three things acting at joint A. At C, I'll have those four. And at F, I don't know where this 30 kips came from. This is incorrect. That's not right. So that's what I have for my equations. This is going to be my angle theta. This is also theta, and this one is theta.